This is from our viewer, uh, Karina. She's from our affiliate KWKBI in New Washington. Um, this is what she, this is her question. Ooh, I'm messing this up. What's up, ladies? My name is Karina, and I am from New Washington, Indiana. I am a single mom raising a mixed race baby. And my fear is that over time, she will feel disconnected from her African culture, since it's not something that I'm familiar with. So my question is, what are things that I can do so she doesn't lose her sense of identity? And how do I keep that spirit alive in her? Okay, I just want to add that the baby is African-American mm -hmm. and uh, she's Caucasian, obviously. I, I found that out. So, oh, okay. ladies, uh, well, any she, details? Because she said African, and yeah. just wanted to clarify I just wanted to clarify that. that so. so that's a good start, though, is her educating herself and on the caring about between, that. you know, saying African-American and African. Cause that was that confused me yeah. too. Cause that's a different. You thought the baby came from Africa. Correct. Um, yeah. No, I mean, the baby, so my mom, the, the daddy African American. So my, my father is African American. I don't even say African American. My father is black. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> my my from America, and my mother is black from Grenada. Okay. And I grew up with just my mom, so I grew up in a Caribbean household. Mm -hmm. But she thought it was very important that I know my black American roots and my black American heritage. So she always made it her business to make sure I was in like extracurricular. Black activities. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? And like that was something that she really took on as a, her role as a parent. So, so I what's think that's a black activity? <laughs> so, for instance, like I was in a group called the McKnight Achievers, which was like at UCF in Florida, in Central Florida, and it was a program for like black children who were excelling in school. And we would go there right. and we would have activities together yeah. and there would be like, um, workshops and panels, et cetera, so stuff like that. But also just making sure that I had a diverse group of friends. Yep, you know? that's what I yeah. was going to say. So things like that. It okay. takes a village to raise well, you, a child. Well, you post a child right here. So what I is know, it? I know, but I have a black mama. Right. So I just hung around my But cousins. what about the white side? <laughs> well, the thing is, is my, I didn't know my dad's side oh. of uh, his well, family. Did, did you feel like you left? Us. Did you feel that because you didn't, know your dad's side, that you didn't understand some of white culture? No, because I knew my dad, too. My dad was around, whereas in this case... The dad's she, not around. Yeah, the dad's not around, so... So what could There's she a do? thing that we say as moms, it takes a village, right, right. to raise your child. So, true. so what Amanda is saying, I think it's important to look around in her community, look at her support group, yeah. and make sure she has someone in that support group that looks like her daughter, yeah, that so that they can yeah. teach her. I have a friend who actually adopted a black girl and you know she'll actually come up to me and don't be afraid to ask questions don't be you know embarrassed my friend is like i don't know how to do my daughter's hair mm -hmm. and i'm like thank you for caring right. thank you for even yeah. asking that's the number one and thing i was able to teach me her too. take your baby to a black salon yeah. black hair care yes. salon. yes please not don't try not yourself. one of them you know eight dollar cut places Fantastic don't Sam. do that yeah no, do not do like, oh it's some God. sisters in there with hot no, press and combs yes. and stuff like that that can yeah. work the hair. She can also be taught. Can she be taught as well? Yeah. No, oh, well, Amanda says no. Uh, but I really like that she was educated about it. I got some shea butter. Like there's shea butter the and cocoa butter. And make sure, make sure her skin is moisturized. Yes, all the, and her scalp. And her scalp. And no, the scalp. butters are important. <laughs> because are our important. skin, you it's know, so needs a the lot of moisture. Yeah. You don't want the baby ashy. No. no. Yeah. Because it can be scratchy and all this. You don't want the hair dry either. Yeah, the, yeah, you yeah, know, no dry a lot of moisture. Hair. I really like what both of you ladies are saying, um, <laughs> not only obviously to find people in the community that are of black descent so that your daughter can be, you know, can, can be immersed in that culture, but also the mom. I think it's also important for you to make sure that you have a diverse mix of friends, especially yeah. of mm -hmm. black descent, so that you're not just kind of letting your daughter learn about that culture. It would be beautiful and healthy mm -hmm. for you to learn about your daughter's roots yep. as well. Well, so I think good. she did, because she dated a black man. That don't mean nothing. Now, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He you dated a brother. That. There's oh, you know he taught a little something. brothers that don't know nothing but what they give He them. said a little something.